Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if this is your first time here. Um, today I'm going to be experimenting with something I saw online. Now, I've seen this, I've seen like a hundred people do this because I became obsessed with it. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's going to work, but I've never done it before, and I've just been like, let me film a video on this, because... I've been around for a while, and when I see something that I'm like actually impressed by, I gotta try it. So, <clears throat> I'm making a sign. I'm making, I'm not gonna make a full sign. If you wanna see me finish this sign, you can go over to Patreon. But, this is a wood round. It's 10 inches. I got it from Amazon. Yeah. There was like 10 of them in a pack for $12 or something like that. Um, it's very smooth. This side less smooth because it's got Mod Podge on it. But this side, they're, they're very smooth. They're laser cut. They're really nice. Um, yeah, so I just used this in one of my other wreaths. I made a sign with it, so it's like the perfect size. And now I don't have to worry about matching um, ribbons to my sign. I can make a sign and then I can make a sign around the ribbons I already have, pretty much. So what I have here, this is the sign, ironing board, iron some parchment paper, a piece of scrapbook paper, and some Mod Podge. Now all I've done to this, I put a thin layer of Mod Podge on, let it dry, put another layer of Mod Podge on. So there's two layers. I don't know that it matters. I just grabbed the matte Mod Podge because that's what everybody has. That's the one they sell at the Dollar Tree. And I, I don't want a glossy sign, even though this is gonna be the bottom layer. Um. I've seen people use wood glue. I've seen people use like polyacrylic, like a bunch of different stuff. So I, I'm assuming you could use pretty much anything. So two coats, parchment paper. This is the paper I'm going to be using. It is a Christmas paper from Hob from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, um, it just looks floral. But you see, you can see it's got like the little pine things and there's pine cones and stuff. And I thought if I could do this and then probably add some kind of border on it and then put in vinyl. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. What up, y'all? You basic go home. Something like that. Um, so, yeah, we are going to try this. I don't know how it's going to work out. Uh, I don't know if I should like cut this smaller or just cut it afterwards or what. I think I'm going to cut it smaller now. Just so we're not dealing with as much stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to cut outside. Obviously, if you had a, um, you know, if you had a square, you would try to conserve as much paper as you could. But I have a bunch more of this paper because I found them and I was like, oh, I wanted to do something with it. So I bought, I don't know, y'all know how I buy stuff. See, I keep, okay, this is the Mod Podge side. You can kind of see it's got more of a sheen than this side. My lights are acting wacky because they're like, why do you have an iron plugged in? So, wood, two coats of Mod Podge, the paper. And that's covering all around, yes. And then the parchment paper. Make sure you're using parchment paper and not anything else. Oh, look, and the, this is the one I'm using, the um, Reynolds. Is it Reynolds? Durable? Is it the brand? Okay. It's from Dollar Tree. I just had this. For, it's right next to my toaster oven. Um, yeah. So that is down. And now this is on. It's been heating up for a while. It probably went off a little bit. I have like an $80 where I went to iron and I still use this one all the time. It's dirty. It's funky. It's my favorite iron though. I mean, look, I dropped it so many times the tip broke off. But this is on the cotton setting. No steam. Uh, yeah, we're just going to, apparently, start from the middle and iron this down. And what 
this is doing is melting the glue to like reactivate it so it sticks again. Because the glue is dry. Remember, we put the Mod Podge on there and it's we let it dry. Um, so it's going to seal this to the wood. And then and you're not going to have any wrinkles or folds or bubbles or anything like that because we use an everything's dry you know I don't know how long I'm supposed to do this but um yeah so how are you guys doing and I know y'all looking at this this ironing board and being like oh my god first of all I don't iron clothes um I think I have one shirt that needs to be ironed and I never wear it unless somebody dies it is my funeral shirt so this is my craft ironing board. I have a big one, but this is the one I I use for, um, why do I feel like we ironed something else on here before? And then I'm just going to get these edges real good. I think maybe definitely keep it, maybe definitely, definitely keep it moving just because even though it's not on like synthetic, or no, it's not on linen, it's on cotton. Um, I still don't, you know, you still don't want it to scorch anywhere. Okay, there is not a single little lip anywhere on here. Hold on, y'all, I'm also eating lunch. Nutter butter, ghost protein powder. Ghost protein powder and nutter butter, y'all, that's $40. Might be the best money I've ever spent. Oh God, that's hot. Okay, so let's let her cool a little bit. Yeah, and all we want to see... Oh, God. Okay. Wait, hold up. Oh, God, why was it so hot? Does wood really retain that much heat? Jeez. Yeah, I can't give credit because I don't know where I saw this first. I think it was a furniture refinisher and they were like, okay, we're going to do the iron-on method for the Mod Podge. And I was like, what? No, I think she said we're going to do the iron-on method for the decoupage. And I was like, oh, they have like iron-on sheets now for decoupage. But she used like a, um, like a print, like a poster print from like Hobby Lobby and Mod Podge it on the front of a dresser. Like she put it, I don't even, I don't, I don't know if she used Mod Podge or she used whatever. But she painted it on there, did another coat flipped the dresser over and just ironed the whole thing down and I was like what just happened because there's so much stuff that I would mod podge except I'm terrible at it and I don't think it's a very e this is still so hot um I don't think it's a very easy thing to do especially something like this where you're like okay I gotta get it down I gotta get all the bubbles out I mean this is holy crap I mean, that is just, that is on there. Okay. Let me turn this off now and maybe my lights will stop acting ignorant. Put that over there. I'm going to move this. Wow. Like, y'all know I am hard to impress, right? I don't see why you couldn't use this again. I mean, I don't know that I'd put a piece of fish on it after I'd use it to mod pod something, but you could definitely use that to do more signs, which I don't even know what I'm doing with this. And I'm like, I want to do more. All right, so let me see. I can either, I've seen them, I've seen them like go around with, a, with an exacto knife and cut this off. Or, I wish I could find my sanding block, but my sanding block is O-U-T-S-I-D-E, I think. And I don't want the D-O-G to go O-U-T-S-I-D-E. So... This is 
it's just an uh a nail file if anybody's like what is that magical thing he's using it's it's, it's, it's a nail file of reef that's sticking out over there, but it's good. Alright, so I went all the way around. Can you kind of see? Yeah, you can see that. So, in theory, we should just be able to... anymore. I mean, it's flat enough for a sign, but I don't know if it was like that before, if it was the heat that did that. But, um, y'all, that is on there. Now, you could go back and seal it with Mod Podge. I am going to, what am I going to do? I'm probably going to seal it with polyacrylic, just because I like to get a couple coats on there if I'm making a sign. So, yeah, you would seal it with the polyacrylic. If there's bubbles that come up, because sometimes that can happen, I guess, you would just put it down and iron it again, and they'll go away. Apparently. I don't know. If you want to see how the rest of the sign comes comes out, you can join me on Patreon, or you can just wait for the wreath. I think I'm probably going to do... Like, come around here and do, like, some a light chalk paint, and then maybe blend it out into... Because this is... This is, like, a green... And I think I might want to like pull in navy or something. And then now that I have this on, it'll say Merry Christmas. Business, watch out. Um, I can pull in the pink, this green, that green, the red, may even this yellow, a dark. You know, I mean, it's just, it's opened up a lot of doors for me. I don't know why I wasn't making signs this whole time. All right, guys, so um, try that. And just, if you want to look up some videos, just look up, like, iron-on decoupage. And, I mean, people were, like, pretty much like, hey, you can just, you can just slap some little pancake syrup on this and let it dry and then iron it on and it'll be perfect. And I am, like, I am astounded. This does, this does look like it's a little warped. But it's going in a wreath, so it doesn't really matter, but... Yeah. So if you want to join us on Patreon, there'll be we will be a link down below. It's five dollars a month. There's gonna be the rest of this tutorial. There's a bunch of embellishments. There's behind the scenes stuff. There's after shows. There's a bunch of stuff. You can join us on Instagram, um, and you can um, what is the other one? Oh, if you want to tip me on Venmo, um, I need forty five dollars because that's how much that protein powder was. So nine of y'all can tip me five dollars. Or not. I don't care. Um, thanks for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>